Hey guys, it's Brian. Um, I wanted to make a quick video on purchasing a used generator. I don't know if you guys have seen, but the market for used generators is so messed up. You can get a brand new used generator for 200 bucks. Like a 6,000 watt, 7,000, 8,000 watt generator that has zero, you know, five hours on it for 200 bucks and the thing sells for, you know, um, six, seven, 800 bucks brand new. Uh, you can even get bigger ones, 10,000 watt, 12,000 watt generators that are used for 400 bucks and they they go for, you know, a thousand or more brand new. And I personally look for the used ones. There's so many of them on the Facebook marketplace. I highly recommend it to a lot of people and to the people that can afford it. I would buy a second generator just as backup. You never know what, what can happen to your, your main generator. Um, you know, if you have the space for it and the funds to spend another five to 700 bucks, I highly recommend having a second generator as backup. Um, and, and a lot, no one knows about this. No one knows how to look for the right generator, um, a used generator. When you In go to purchase miles, a car, take exit four toward Knob Hill Road. when you go to purchase a car, what do you look for um, in order to see how much it's been used? You're looking at the mileage, right? Well, generators don't have mileage. What do they have? They have hours. They have an hour meter. Now, a lot of, some of them don't have it. The more, uh, the better, uh, more expensive ones have an hour meter on there. And so, if you find a used generator, ask the person selling it, what does the hour meter say? Because let's just put it this way. If there's eight, if there's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 hours on there, I mean, 50 hours, that's not, you know, that's nothing. Um, that's barely used. So people don't know that. You're, people are just selling used generators based off of the pricing that they see online. And unfortunately it sucks because people don't know about this so they're not able to change that into the correct way of selling which is per hour. You know, you have a, a used generator Let's say you have a 15 or a 12,000 watt used generator, but it only has, you know, 50 hours on it. That's been used five days for 10 hours a day throughout that lifespan. That's nothing, you know? Um, and so it would be worth a lot more because you know it's literally hasn't been stressed. It hasn't been used a lot. Now, if you find a generator with, you know, 500 hours, 1,000 hours, you know that they've you know, they've used it a good amount. And uh, that would dictate how much I'm willing to spend on it. I don't want a generator that's been used a ton because first of all, you don't know how it's been maintained. Have they been changing the oil when they should be? Have they been putting a ton of load on it when they should be? Have they, you know, just all of that. So if you're ever looking for a used generator, you want to find one that has an hour meter. That's personally what I would do. I would find a used generator that has an hour meter and I would go by the hours. How many hours does it have? Does it have a low amount of hours? Okay, it's basically brand new and basically hasn't been used. If it's been stored inside, then you've got a brand new generator basically and you're getting it for a fraction of the cost. Okay, keep that in mind. Um, and, and if you know buying a new generator is just too much for you, I highly recommend going this route, getting a used one but doing what I said, finding one with an hour meter and going by the hours. If you get a low hour one, you have nothing to worry about. I promise you. Okay? So give me a call if you need anything or write a comment and I can help you out. Um, I hope you guys are getting prepared for hurricane season. If you have not gotten your generator looked at and, and serviced, give us a call. Portable Generator Services will take care of you in South Florida. We cover from Jacksonville all the way down to um, Miami and then on the west coast we cover from Naples all the way up to Tampa so anyways I'll catch you next video hope you have a good Sunday and I'll see you next time bye